Hey folks, in today's episode, we take a boat ride across St. Mary Lake and then hike to St. Mary Falls. Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. No, Pierce, this isn't Hidden Lake, the lake where we saw the bear. This is St. Mary Lake, a much larger lake that is also lower in elevation. This is Wild Goose Island, one of the most photographed places in the world. Remember the movie The Shining? This is the island in the very opening scene. You know the one, with the DA Sire playing and all that. Can you believe we made it to Montana? Can you believe Montana looks like this? Will we ever have another summer as epic as this one? This is Virginia Falls. It's another mile or so past St. Mary Falls. And since we had to take the same boat back, regretfully, we didn't have time to hike to that one. We booked the boat tour with Glacier Park Boats. They've been doing these tours on the lakes of Glacier National Park since 1938, a quality outfit. St. Mary's Falls today. Not surprisingly, the trail is very busy. Of course, we did come with a group. Uh, it's amazing how many people are in these parks this summer. Amazing. On this trip, we stayed at four main areas, the Black Hills, Teton Yellowstone, Glacier, and Theodore Roosevelt. We sat down at a Barnes & Noble months before the trip to plan some excursions. This was months after we'd started making reservations for campgrounds and planning the route out to the west. After reading blog posts and others itineraries, we knew we needed a few concrete plans. We were pretty open-ended on the other sites to see at each place, but the Mammoth Site, Snake River Float, and St. Mary Boat Trip seemed to be three must-dos, so reservations were made and expectations were exceeded. Yet. No physical geocaches inside national parks, you know, only virtuals and earth caches. Those are for you. They are. You may notice you don't see Graham here too much. That's because he was up front of the line with the guide talking to him about everything. Geology, animals, weather, stock tips. Okay, probably not stock tips. These burned trees are from the 2015 Reynolds Creek fire. And our guide told us that this fire was started by a campfire that was <clears throat> not properly put out. And it cost $800 million to fight it. Reynolds Creek is a tributary of the St. Mary River, where St. Mary Falls is. The campground on Reynolds Creek is very close to this area. $800 million is a lot of money. People can be stupid sometimes. We're high enough here that the tops of those mountains have no trees. We're that close to the tree line. Well, maybe we're not that close, but it seems like we are.
We know some crazy people that actually jumped off this rock into the water. This is the St. Mary River, and here it's barely more than a stream, but it passes into St. Mary Lake and Lower St. Mary Lake, and then through the Blackfeet Reservation into Alberta, Canada. Water from it eventually reaches Hudson Bay. Most riverologists consider it a Canadian river. It did smell faintly of maple syrup. Not really. Most people are right-handed. Daddy, am I the only left-handed person in the family? In our whole family? No. Well, your cousin Aaron is. Yes. If you didn't catch that, Katie said, well, that was worth $100. That's right. The boat trip and guided hike for a family of four was $100. Pretty reasonable compared to a theme park. Graham and Pierce are ready to board the boat. There are over 700 lakes inside the boundaries of Glacier National Park. St. Mary Lake is one of the larger ones. Like I mentioned before, the water from this lake eventually makes it to Hudson Bay, the doorstep of the Arctic. But water from Glacier National Park can also flow to the Pacific or Atlantic Oceans. This place is just so astounding. On one hand, I'd say everyone should make a point to come here. On another, I'd say it seems like everybody already does. We've been to 12 national parks. That's nearly 20% of the 63 U.S. national parks. So far, Glacier is the most majestic. As with Yellowstone, you could spend years here and not see everything. We got everybody passports to go to Canada. Due to COVID, we missed out. They actually have a stop sign, like a gate across it, which is unbelievable. Is it a river? Nope, it's just a, a just an imaginary a line. Oh, and there's an antelope and there's some. There's one on your window. <laughs> Is 
Well, we tried to make a run for the border, but there were barricades on both sides, so we stopped at this cool little Blackfeet Nation welcome area. Thanks for watching. In our next episode, we finish our time at Glacier National Park with a visit to the west side of the park, Lake McDonald and Apgar Village. Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and comment below.